Hi everyone, how are we? Good? Good. Pleasantries over, let's get a move on with the video, shall we? Let me just get myself a little bit comfortable. I'm currently in my apartment here in Girona. I came over from New Zealand on the 8th of January. I stayed one night and then I quickly skedaddled off to my first team camp in introduction with my new team, Life Plus Wahoo. I had an absolute ball of a time, but I'm not going to go into that right now because I'm trying to keep this video moving at quite a good pace, you know? I actually planned to film a bit of a catch up video, an update prior to me leaving New Zealand. However, if you know me or you've followed this YouTube channel for a while, then you'll realize that I'm not the most diligent when it comes to uploading on a regular basis. So alas, that did not happen, but I'm feeling like now is the time to update my 750 subscribers on what's happening. I'll let you in on a bit of a secret. I did actually write down everything that I wanted to say and I'm not about to pretend that I haven't scripted what I want to say. So, here's a little something that I prepared earlier, and I thought you all could just sit back and relax, and we could call this segment Storytime with Ella. Let's get stuck in, shall we? I need some glasses. That's what I need. That would make me look like a, a real storyteller. It was a dark, stormy night. The rain, kidding. Sorry, but I can't do it with these storytelling glasses on. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to take those off, sorry. Can't quite play that persona. All good things must come to an end. After just under three months at home, it was time to start the extensive journey back to Europe to begin preparing for the 2023, to get the 2023 season underway. Sorry, I can't read my own handwriting. Maybe I should have done a run through before I started. I'm going in blind. I have to admit, I wasn't all that phased about coming home in November, as I wanted to keep enjoying the autumnal weather and an off season in Europe. However, I do miss my family and dog, so it would be rude not to pay them a visit. I found this period to be a real roller coaster of emotions and unanticipated events. I graduated university, I had an annoying knee niggle, which made me grumpy anyway, and then Lakol Wahoo, my team for 2023, lost nearly 50% of their sponsorship and the future became uncertain. This led to over six weeks of scouting other team options, not sleeping properly in the anticipation of news, thanks to the New Zealand time zone, and even exploring non-riding jobs, real work, and contemplating whether I should even continue riding. I would not be attending a December Spain training camp as planned or receiving a road bike, leading to my Spanish mailbox piling up, my car Bruno sitting idle, my apartment rent continuing with no job lined up, and me stuck in Dunedin with Diego, the trusty gravel bike, and no road option. Time is a great weapon though, and just before Christmas it was finally confirmed that Le Col Wahoo would continue under a new name with new sponsorship, Life Plus. And I had purpose in my cycling once more. I arrived in Dunedin barely wanting to look at my bike and deliberating whether I simply had no motivation for the sport anymore after all that it's thrown at me and then the team troubles compounded on this again. Once my knee got better after nearly six weeks of next to no riding, the thought of even riding two hours seemed like an absolute chore. Oh my gosh, this is like reading at school. Some people think of cycling as a stress release, but for me it's the opposite and my thoughts become incredibly concentrated and spiral when I'm on the bike to the point where I'm in hysterics and prefer to stop midway through training and do minimal exercise and simply read books on the couch. So yes, I missed some training but things began to slowly click once more in my mind when my planned 2023 was resurrecting itself and I got back into the rhythm of training. I find the period after Christmas to be so uplifting and motivating. The weather is nice, we often go away for little trips as a family, as you would have seen in my last video. My parents aren't working and the stress and societal rush of the leading to Christmas is over. In the past two years, I have left New Zealand to return to Europe during this phase, which I think makes the return leg particularly sad and deflating. I arrived in Dunedin not really all that fussed to be there and not even wanting to ride. 
and left feeling incredibly motivated to ride for four hours every day with a rejuvenated mind for the bike and then spend the afternoons outdoors exploring Dunedin and having time with my family, whose company I love. Whew, say that like you mean it, Ella. If only I could have seen out this period and returned to Europe when the New Year's honeymoon period was over. But alas, I have things to do. Oh my word, this is an absolute maze of sentences. It's just... Ella, put things a bit more orderly next time. Races to whip myself in shape form, people to see and meet, road bikes to ride, and oh, my visa doesn't let me out of Spain for more than three months, so better abide by the law. Yeah, that's the first entry in my, uh, in my journal, in my journal. After that little summary of my thoughts and feelings over the months prior to departing Dunedin in January, I thought I might slide in some B-roll footage now, show you some clips from when I actually departed Dunedin, and I'll just take a break from talking for a little bit. Yay! It's time to say goodbye. Stella? It's been a pleasure, my friend. You're not going to see me for 10 months. You can show me some love. Christchurch and the best part about flying to Christchurch is that you don't have to go through security so we have got a lot of time to kill right now It would be around 2am New Zealand time and I haven't slept a wink since 6am New Zealand time. No matter how tired I am, you'll never catch me walking on the travelator. That's cheating. I'm back again and it's still story time. Let's continue, shall we? Now that we've laid down the groundwork, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to move into talking about the upcoming year, what I'm thinking, and the hopes I have for myself. To reflect further on the three months I've spent in New Zealand, the period of uncertainty that I experienced allowed me to really explore where my interests and passions lie and get some solid future proofing plans in place that I can call on when I hang the wheels up on a professional level. Now I'm not saying that will happen anytime soon, but the foundations are set and that fills me with content. Like I said previously, I have my degree and a solid amount of cycling related elite experiences to call on. 
So I have looked into job prospects and determined how I would like to enter the workforce. Writing professionally again in 2023 does mean I won't be going full time with this, but I will seek part time work experience opportunities alongside dabbling in communications, journalism study and continuing to produce some YouTube content. So on that point, let's give that subscribe button a little nudge and this video a big old like, shall we? Perfect. On to the cycling. I don't want to jinx myself, but I have a good feeling about things. Touch wood. My motivations and aspirations have really multiplied enormously and I'm feeling ready both physically and mentally to give this year a bloody good crack. Oh, I crossed that out because crack hits a bit close to home with me when I have, have had lots of broken bones. So I crossed that out and I put a bloody good go. That's far more appropriate for my situation. My health is in the best place that it has been in years and I'm feeling quite strong. And I wrote this before the training I've done in Spain too and I'm feeling even better after some solid Spanish sessions. So after all the kerfuffle, I will be riding for Life Plus Wahoo this season after all. And once more, I have the same enthusiasm and excitement to be joining the team like I did when I signed last year. I've never been in a different professional team, so it will be cool to experience a new environment and a different mix of people and have more opportunities on the racing front and just see what this move can do to allow me to maximize my physical potential and show what I'm capable of. Performance and objective wise, that's my main goal for the year. To get good form, to not have it interrupted by injury and to simply build momentum through having consistent training and racing and then using that to perform well in races and get some good results to my name once again. That's the rose colored glasses outlook. But I think it's about time for me to have a drama free year and to fly the flag of the new team with pride and top power. I know I have the physical capabilities to do well. It's just about having luck on my side, controlling what I can control to give myself the best fighting chance and having my fingers crossed that the puzzle pieces will all fall into place when it comes to competition. I think that's pretty much everything covered in terms of where I'm at and what's going on in my head. So only three hours now before I board the flight to Barcelona and resume Spanish life. You can tell by that last sentence that I wrote it in Singapore airport. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's story time over. Hope you all enjoyed that. So there we have it. That's Alice's secret diary revealed. So I got back from my first camp with Life Plus Wahoo a couple of weeks ago. And since then I've been training solidly here in Girona. It's taken a bit of getting used to though, because it's a lot colder here than I anticipated. It's been getting below zero most evenings and I haven't experienced a winter in a while. So that's been a slight shock to the system, although my body does prefer cold temperatures over hot temperatures. But right now I'm feeling quite fatigued because I have had quite a solid training load. So I'm just letting the fitness gains sink in right now, taking a few days of rest. And then on Sunday, I'll head off to the second camp with Life Plus Wahoo, also in Cambrils. I didn't really want to record anything at the last camp just because it was my first time with the team and I wanted to get settled in and I didn't want to be shoving a GoPro in everyone's faces. But now I'm thinking that in the next camp I will definitely aim to try and put some content out. I won't aim, I will put some content out. So that'll be the next time that you see me. Until then, hasta luego, adios amigos, that's Ella Harris over and out for this video. Maybe I could do my thumbnail while I'm here. It's always important to do your YouTube thumbnail before you get to the editing process because otherwise you're stuck trying to find a picture that looks good in your thumbnail and you realize you don't have anything and you don't have any content for the thumbnail and the thumbnail is very important on YouTube. I need a good glass of water after all that reading.